Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be revisiting Malamar Lugia GX, a deck that I made a video on when Lost Hunter first came out. And uh, I kind of want to re revisit the deck before Team Up comes out, because Team Up is going to put Lightning Pokemon pretty front and center. So I wanted to be able to um, kind of just be able to revisit the deck one last time for Lightning types become super good. Before we get the video, of course, shout out to our sponsors over at Card Cavern TCG. If you guys need to pre-order some Team Up codes, if you guys need to get some Evolution Pack codes from Team Up, if you guys want to get some Lost Sunner codes, or if you guys need to get some Jolteons or Vaporeon GXs, definitely pre-order them and order them at Card Cavern TCG. Link in the description. Also, you can use code LDF for a discount on your purchase. So, yeah. Let's get into today's deck. So, Lugia GX is kind of the main card here. Uh, Lugia, I do think once Team Up comes out, Lightning types get so good that Lugia probably just won't see play at all because it's just not going to work against Zapdos and Jolteon and stuff like that and Zacron Pikachu. But we're going to look at it now while it is not as weak to Lightning, if that makes any sense. So, it's got three attacks. You got Psychic for three energies, you do 30 plus 30 more damage for each energy on your opponent's active. Um, the problem with this attack is it's weaker than Espeon Psychic Attack, which was a lot more reliable because Psychic on Espeon actually could reach good numbers sometimes. Psychic here does 30 less, so you're never going to reach the good numbers, unfortunately. We do have Pelagic Blade, though, which is a really good attack. For 4 energies, you do 170 damage, and uh, then this Pokemon can't use Pelagic Blade during your next turn, which is fine, but 170 is a great number to hit. With a Choice Band, you can actually do 200 which should one-shot Rayquaza's, Buzzwool's, Alternate Cosmos, Lycanrox, uh, Alola Ninetales, which is really good. And then we have Lost Purge GX, which puts your opponent's active and all cards attached to it into Lost Zone. Lost Purge with um, Counter Gain and DC is actually seeing play in some control stall decks right now. Um, uh, but it doesn't take you a prize, which is one of the issues with Lost Purge. But it could still be good when you need it. So we have some other Pokemon in this deck to kind of support Lugia GX for your main attacker. We are going to be running Shiny Lugia. I mean, it's a Lugia deck. You might as well play Lugia. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Uh, but it's actually a good attacker. Shiny Lugia Malamar is... Well, it actually kind of fell off since, like, Giratina Malamar became a thing. Shiny Lugia Malamar just stopped seeing play. We're actually seeing a bit of a revival of it recently. I've heard some buzz for this deck. I am also going to be running two copies of Onyx. Great attacker against Zoark, and that's also a good attacker um, with Lugia because it allows your Onyx to uh, counter those lightning types. And if Lugia Malamar would ever be relevant again, Onyx would be the play. But I, I honestly think just like when Team Up comes out, Shiny Lugia, Onyx, Giratina will probably be the better deck. But we are going to be playing two Onyxes. I would actually consider playing either like a Choice Helmet or a Sudowoodo in this deck also. Because then Onyx is like not going to be as one shot by Zoark as easily. So it's actually decent to run um, a way to counter for Onyx. But definitely when Team Up comes out, I might revisit this deck. Because I think Onyx is going to be pretty pretty good when uh, Team Up drops. When we get like Pikachu, Zekrom, and when Jolteon sees more play. I do think Onyx here is going to be a really strong card. Of course, I'm playing two Giratinas. There is actually a lot of relevance though for Distortion Door. Because Distortion Door, putting one damage counter on uh, two of your opponent's special Pokemon does mean that with Pelagic Blade and a Choice Band, you can one-shot the Zoark that you put the damage on. So there's actually really good relevance to that. I am playing two Tapu Kokos, kind of the same reason. You can spread damage, and it does help with max fixing numbers. But I do really like having the Free Retreater, too. Really good, in my opinion, to have that Free Retreat cost when you need to switch. So now we go into... Well, actually, no, we don't. We still gotta look at the Malamar. Four, four, four for Malamar. One Lele. There's no Shrine in this deck. Uh, we don't need Shrine since Lugia is one of our main attackers. My original build, I did actually play Shrine, but yeah, you don't really need Shrine in this deck. It's not that good. Um, some other tech cards you can go into. Yeah, I think one of the big ones you can play is Sudowoodo. This does make it that Onyx is harder to one-shot for Zoark. They would need a Kakui to one-shot you, which is really good. Um, you can also play you know, other things like Mimikyu, uh, Deoxys you can play since you do play DCE. I can't spell Deoxys, but yeah, you can play Deoxys if you want, since you do play DCE. I wouldn't mind that. You can throw in a third Giratina, so there are some other options for this deck for other attackers. Uh, now we go to the items. We got three copies of Acrobite. Great way to get energy in the discard. I am playing a Friend Ball. There's a lot of different types in this deck, but it's really good to have Friend Ball uh, for many reasons, because Psychic, you know, if they have a Lele on their bench, right? 
Um, use Friend Ball with Onyx if they have a Lycanroc or Rockruff on their bench. Uh, Zoark. Even like Colas, if they have an Oranguru on their bench, you can get Lugia. Three Mysterious Treasures to be able to get our Pokemon. There's not, there's like a few Psych Pokemon in this deck. Same thing with four Ultra Balls. But yeah, there's not that many Psychic types in this deck. So we can you know, go heavier on the Ultra Balls. One Stretcher for our Pokemon. Pretty simple supporters. Four Cynthia, three Guzma, four Lily, two Tain Liza. No Counter Stadium or Field Blower, as you may notice. We don't really need that, though. I am also going to be playing three copies of Choice Band. Again, I am playing two Skateboards. Most Malamar lists nowadays are playing a Skateboard, so we're going to be playing some Skateboards, too. Four DCEs, really important, so that we can do attacks with Lugia and Onyx and Coco. And eight Psychic Energy. I'm fine with eight Energy. I think the more energy, the better. Um, if you play seven, you won't have as much in your discard pile to work with. Now, other, like, item tech cards I would consider probably would be just Choice Helmet. This could be really useful against, um, Zoark. You put it on an Onyx, Zoark doesn't play Field Blower, you can actually give your Onyx 150 HP, which means Zoark will not one-shot it, and you can potentially take four prizes on Zoark with Onyx. Just an idea, Choice Helmet could be really good in this deck, so, um, I don't mind that. But then you can also run the Soda Widow. Soda Widow and Choice Helmet means Onyx is even more tanky against Zoark, though it doesn't matter, they'd still two-shot you. And it's my Lugia Malamar deck updated. We're going to go try it down PC Joe. Seed in action. Alright guys, let's go do some games with Malamar Lugia. Try it out. And uh, see if we get some good action in with our boy Lugia GX. We'll find out. Let's see what we are up against. Alright, you got to do a game. Looks like we're against Lost March. Okay, this is a decent matchup. We can actually do some cool things with Natu and Giratina and Coco, but other than that, this matchup could be bad, but we can Donk Hoppus with Flying Flip. See what we start with here. We are gonna Mulligan. I do think Lost March, though, is a fair matchup for us. Okay, let's see what we get. Oof, we got the Shiny Lugia start. Not great. So... I guess we can Guzma Coco here, but we're not getting much value out of that because we're not going to be able to get any Inkays or like anything else down, so there is a problem with doing that. But we did get knocked out a Hot Pip, so it is very tempting. It is very tempting to KO Hot Pip here. But I don't know, I'll be stuck with like a weird hand, unless I can top deck something. He hit it, oh, and he hits a Cynthia. That's one of the worst things he could have hit. That's unfortunate. It's really annoying. I might just take that KO on Hop Hip. I don't know. Hit another Trumbeak. If he hits another supporter here, I am going to flip. Hopefully, we can just draw Coco. Second Ultra Ball for NK. No, we do another DC. Not what I'm looking for. This is really annoying. We'll get rid of Malamar and Lele, I guess. If it lets us. Like, like, we do Capu Coco. We might get KO'd. Then we're kind of stuck with nothing. But I don't know. We can. I don't know. Like, I don't know what else we can really do this turn. We don't have a way to switch out. Wish we did. But we'll go for it. We'll YOLO it. We can always let Luia take a hit. We'll see. He might not knock me out. Again, we are KOing one of his hop pips, so that's one less skip blue we have to worry about. Hopefully I'm never getting this play, but we can actually put a lot of pressure on him. Force him to have to go with skip plume and do something about Natu. And maybe we can distortion door it twice. That could be pretty good. He's going to get the Skip Bloom. Jump Love is weak to Lightning, which is good to know. He's going to go for Skip Bloom. It's only 80 damage, though, so he's not knocking me out. Going to need some Lost Blenders to reach a knockout here. And if he doesn't hit it, he doesn't get it. He is going to switch up a Hot Pip. Okay, he gets that back. It's fine. We can still fly and flip it. I don't think we'll be able to double Garatina him, but <laughs> anything is possible. It's gonna Guzma me, okay. That's fine. So he's not knocking me out, which is good. I probably would prefer to keep Coco over Shiny Lugia. Alright, what do we draw? 
Chewing K, that's amazing. Well, Lily. Let's see, we find. We got a friend ball. We got another Coco. We have Lele for next turn. No, we don't. Crap. Okay. Um. We can friend ball. For. I can get Giratina. Might as well. May as well get my Tina. And we have a stretcher, so there is the option. We still have a fair amount of supporters. Two Cynthia's, three Lilies, two Tate and Liza's. We have a stretcher, which can bail us out too. May as well just get another NK. Don't know if I need to play it down though. We only have one energy in the discard. I might even hold the distortion door. Well, no, he'll knock me out that too, and then we can still do flying flip. So maybe there isn't a point. Especially, it doesn't. We don't really need to get damage on that hop up, anyways. Uh, let's just attach. We might we might as well play the NK down? I'm gonna hold the distortion door. We get KO'd here, we lose our Lugia, we can always get it back. I do wish we had a Marshadow in this deck. Something you can consider, I guess, is Marshadow in here. And you got a Skip Bloom, that's annoying. It's like, oh, it's 120. So now we can one-shot my Cocos, which is not good. There's an Ultra Ball. He might Marshadow me here. Might be forced to. He had to get rid of a Skip Bloom and a Jump Up. That's actually really nice. Never mind, he's gonna ring through. I was gonna say, please Marshadow me. Hopefully we just flat out draw Lily here. That would be great. We are going to take a prize with Coco. I would like to hit a Jump Luff with Flying Flip. So if we don't get a draw supporter, I wouldn't mind getting another Guzma so I can bring out a Jump Luff, hit it for 40. Maybe even knock out that Hop Pip. Knock out Hop Pip and Nat too would be pretty good too. So we'll see what we can do. Flying Flip can buy us a few turns, hopefully. And until then, we'll see what we can do. We will see what we can do. Drew an Ultra Ball. Poo. Right, well, we'll do the distortion door. That sucks. You can build up Giratina a little bit. Sad we're dead drawing. If you didn't get rid of that Cynthia, that would have been great. We'll see what we can do. Still more flying flips to our name. We'll see what our prize is. Ah, another NK. That's not helping. All right, let's pray with grass energy, and it, well, he needs to get a stretcher actually too to get that skip loop back. Timer ball, double tails. Oh, he gets one heads. If that bumps a supporter, because this is obviously going for Trumbeak. No skip bloom. Wait, I thought he was out of skip blooms. I miscounted. I miscounted. Now he's actually able to do enough to one shot my Giratinas, which is not good. Okay, we gotta just hope he doesn't knock me out. That'd be great. Struck for one. <sighs> I think he got a Cynthia off that. <gasps> no, and he's gonna knock me out. Oh, he finds the grass, of course. Okay, well we can still knock out Jump Up thanks to Distortion Door. But we're not making much of a stance. We really need to get a supporter here. I'm tired of losing games because I'm not drawing anything. This is I standard right now is so awkward that would be a seeker, I'm telling you. We can thin and get Malamar. This is still pretty bad. We are going to take a prize, though, which is good. I think I prize with Cynthia. Right? Yeah, we haven't played one. Yeah, we prize with Cynthia. That's fine enough. I don't know. Maybe he'll whiff energy again. I doubt it. But Flying Flip is definitely putting in work. Take our prize. Okay, we can at least attack with Giratina, assuming we don't draw anything. I would like to put more work in with Coco, so... If I can get Stretcher, I don't even know if I want to just get Lele specifically, because I do want to get Coco back. Because Coco is like taking out bear jump plus and bear bear natus. Okay, good. He did not hit a supporter. Which is I guess good and bad, because that means we aren't drawing a supporter. Giratina can maybe bail us out. I really hope we don't lose because we're just not drawing anything. Considering how much pressure we're putting on. With what we are, with what we got to work with, I'm surprised, but really hope we don't lose this game because we're just drawing poorly. That is my least favorite way to lose. 
drawn poorly, folks. This is Pokemon TCG for you. This is Pokemon TCG for you. Okay, finally. But that's not really helping too much, because he'll knock me out, assuming he finds the grass energy, and there's not much we can do. It might honestly be too late to win the game. The only thing that can maybe help us is getting Coco back at this point. It might be the only way to win this is with Coco. He has the energy. Ugh. <sighs> If only we were able to just get more cards going and we could just keep up the pressure, we'd probably win this game. This is arguably one of our best matchups, considering we have the Cocos, the Tinas. Even Onyx is decent, in a way, even though it is with the Jump Bluff, but it's still... Onyx can put in work. But we're just getting completely just destroyed because we're just drawing so poorly. The only way we got, I can see us winning is with Flying Flip, so we'll see. Oh man, I just, I hate losing to bet, to dead draws. This is why Standard, I tweeted out yesterday that Standard tourneys are trash, and they are, because there's no, like, good reliability on getting your supporters. I find that the new Standard format right now, Sun and Moon On, just has a, uh, a higher dead draw rate than in Expanded. That's why I just play Expanded tourneys when I need to get... Uh, when I just want to burn my tickets, I just play expanded tourneys because they're so much more reliable to play. Because there's via seeker and everything, like trainer's mail and everything you can rely on. Is he? Wait. He already retreated. What is he doing? Unless he has like a switch and he wanted to burn a few cards from Struct. That play made zero sense. Okay. I'm very confused. Okay, we will... Acrobike first? Okay, not bad. Okay, I don't know what he was doing there, but I'm not gonna complain. Hey, we got a skateboard. Alright, well, looks like we are gonna use Onyx here. It's fine, though. I think Onyx actually can put in some work. Okay, don't know what's going on, but uh, we'll take it. The fact they didn't take a prize there means we might be able to pull this one out and win the game. We'll get rid of Lily, so let's do something like YOLO. I'll just get another NK to... I guess I could grab get another Giratina, but whatever. I need to have a Fruit Retreater for next turn, so we're going to do this. Shadow Impact. Hit the other Malamar. Very confused right now as to what just happened. I think he just misclicked. And now we can win the game. We literally win, unless... Well, never mind, we got Guzma, so we win, even if he, like, field blowers my escape board off. Just when I thought this game was not gonna end too well for us, that misplay turned this game around completely. The only way he could, like, stop me is literally with Marshadow. There it is. Okay, let's see if he... But even if he does, we still have double... He needs a Marshadow and a field blower... Okay, my lamp. Okay, my lamp for some reason just went out. He needs to field blower me to prevent me from winning this turn. I thought that was a field blower for a sec. Because it has like a green background. Okay, that was good. Alright, we win. Um, Really confusing win on my end. We probably would have lost the game had he not done that. So that's really good. That is really, really good. So we're just going to be able to win the game with Onyx here. Okay, well, yeah. Yeah, I think he I think he forgot that he retreated his jump bluff. Which is good. I'll take it. I'll take the win. Get some coins, which is lit. So yeah, we beat Lost March, which again is definitely a good matchup for us, but despite our bad luck, we were able to pull out a win, so that was pretty clutch. So we'll do another game here with our deck. Going right into it. Ooh, we have against Vika Blue, maybe? Okay, this could be interesting. There is Lightning, so Lugia, unfortunately, is kind of going to be doing nothing. We do have Onyx, though, and oh my gosh, we got an insanely good hand, assuming Lele is not prized. Assuming our Lele is not prized. Yeah, I don't know why my, my lamp went out, by the way. 
I I don't have the greatest room. My only source of light is this like lamp here on my dresser. Okay, so he's playing a. I actually don't know. I was gonna say Viga Bulu, but it's definitely not. But Onyx is gonna be the MVP in this matchup. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to bump Aether Paradise. But we do have Coco, so... I mean, Coco could help us. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we're up against. Might as well draw the extra cards. That works, too. We don't even need Lele now, which is awesome. Oh, I've never seen a hand this good before. All right, well, Ultra Ball, get rid of... Probably Malamar. You know what? Malamar, you can go. We'll get... She's playing Zero Roar. Maybe Zero Roar being pulled. I don't know. We'll get, um... Probably just Onyx. To be honest, we'll just start powering up Onyx now. We'll Lily for five. Got a friend ball. Okay, we can't play... No, we can get Lugia, but we don't need it. Do have a treasure, which we can play. We can get another Inkay. I could have gotten Giratina, too. He might play Psych Pokemon down. And we'll just pass. The next turn, we'll knock him out with Onyx. Tony man, Onyx Malamar is going to be one of the BDIFs going forward. No, I'm just kidding, but this is good. That was a really good turn one. All right, he's going to Ultra Ball. He's going to get rid of Grass and a Volkner. So I guess it is a Vikavolt deck. It could be Rayquaza. Nice playing Vika Volt. All right, Vika Volt Zerora. I have thought of this archetype myself. I have it built. I thought it'd be a cool idea because, like, even Vika Volt GX can actually attack thanks to Electro Power. I don't know why I never did the video, though. We'll see. He might not have the turn two Vika Volt. He's probably going to retreat into a Rangu room because he knows Onyx is going to knock him out. Any scoops? Onyx is too scary. That big old. Oh, wow. We're actually about to get 325 coins here. Onyx is just too scary. That big old rock snake is too scary to see. <laughs> I guess for my point, it's like, nope, I'm outie. I ain't dealing with this. Alright, we haven't got much Lugia action in. Which is tragic. But we didn't really need Lugia in either of those two matchups because it's not a good attacker. I mean, it's okay in Lost March, I guess, if it can take a hit. But it's better just not to have it on the bench. Alright, we are up against... Okay, looks like we're up against Buzzwool, Garboder. Lugia's good here, I think. We're gonna lose a coin flip. I think Buzzgarb Shrine's another preferred good matchup for us. Alright, we got a really good hand last time, so let's repeat it. Okay, we can treasure for Lele, maybe. I'll see what we're up against. I'm assuming it's Buzzgarb. Gotta watch out for Weavile, but the only abilities we have to worry about are just Malamar and Giratina. I have to do Lele here, though. I guess it would be nice to try and find room for one Marshadow. So I wouldn't mind having a Marshadow right now. No, he's playing Passimian. Is he playing Coco, though? Because I didn't see any Lightning or Fairy. And Passimian, I would say, is a good matchup for us. Simeon is definitely a good matchup. He's gonna Ultra Ball. The only problem is we just can't bump his Shrine, and he gets rid of a Shrine, so that's good. You don't have to worry about Shrine as much. I guess if he's playing Coco, Lugia doesn't need to be useful, but we gotta use Lugia at some point. This is, this is a Lugia deck, boys and girls. Okay. Struck for one. Does he have a Lily? He didn't do a supporter. No, he has a Cynthia. Okay. So there's a big problem with using Lele in this matchup, considering it is a Shrine of Punishments deck. Ooh, we get rid of a Giraffe Rig. Hmm. So I guess this isn't a Spread Passimian deck, which is good. Drew a Choice Band. That's a Discard Bait. Grab Lele. So we kind of have to play Lily or Lily. We have to play Lele here, I think. Fine, we can put down Onyx. Onyx can actually attack in this matchup. Bike. Okay, we did not need the Tapu Lele, which actually makes me kind of happy because now we don't have to play it down, I guess. Well, Lily for six. Oof, that's rough. We didn't get an Inkay or anything. Hmm. 
I'm gonna take that. Oh, he's gonna knock out Coco. Okay, so we can friend ball for another Onyx or for Lugia. If only you put that draft rate down. Rip. I might wait on the friend ball, but I don't really know if he's gonna play a psychic Pokemon down, considering that might be his only one. So I am gonna play it just a thin. So yeah, we got no in case there, which is fine. We'll knock him out the Onyx next turn. And we're not using any evolution, so Pissimian's gonna struggle to one shot Onyx and stuff, hopefully. Alright, we'll see what he's gonna get here. Would have been nice though to be able to like double Malamar. It's fine though. We'll try and get oh he's playing Coco. Alright, so we just gotta be careful with the bench. It's actually gonna judge my hand away. Okay, whiff whiff your DCE here, please and thank you. Ooh, NK skateboard, beautiful. Well, I guess we can't play it. It's gonna struck for one, whiff DCE. Let's see, did he whiff it? I think he whiffed it. Did you seriously draw that? Oh my gosh, alright, we're actually not even getting KO'd. What am I worrying about? Uh, we'll double a skateboard, sure. Um, I think we just try and go sit, hit this DC so we can knock him out of Onyx. Don't let me down. Let me down. Okay. Alright, we'll treasure away Lugia. Sorry, Lugia GX. Get Malamar. Didn't even get an energy, which is kind of unfortunate. I don't want to deal with promo Lele, but Malamar's a deck where you have to bench stuff. That DC whiff kind of sucks. It would have been nice to knock him out Onyx. We'll do it next turn, though. Onyx might be able to take a couple prizes. But once he gets Macargo in play, that's when things might get scary. He's going to Acrobite. He might actually feel blowing me away, because I don't really don't want to lose these skateboards. Gonna DC the Coco. Is he gonna fly and flip here? No, he's gonna team play. That's fine. We don't care about Coco. Coco doesn't do much in this matchup, anyways. The real boy is hopefully gonna be Onyx. Uh, we gotta play Lele down, it looks like. Ooh, nice little top deck. I mean, this does mean we kind of have to retreat before, but whatever. Well, Lele, oh, that's really unfortunate that we have to play that. Cynthia. I could have retreated, but yeah, whatever, it's fine. That's yeah, fine, it's not a big deal. We don't have much Psychic in the discard. Never mind, now we do. Ultra Ball, get rid of Psychic and Choice Band. Grab Malamar. So Onyx knocks him out. Onyx probably survives the turn. I don't think it's getting KO'd, which is good. And we can build up Shining Lugia, which is really good also. Shining Lugia is good in this matchup. The only big problem is just going to be Flying Flip and that annoying pesk of a card known as Tapu Lele Promo. Ooh, another Onyx. So it does look like I have to play Lele down, but we got a good board state out of it. He's actually going to bring out a Ranguru over Coco, which is really interesting. Unless he's planning on guzma in me here. Which would be pretty bad, because I don't have a Guzma in my hand. Or Tain Liza. I think that's what he's... He might even bring out Lele, actually, right? No, Mala. So can we just draw Guzma, please, and thank you? We got three in the deck. We got a Taint Liza we can draw. Please, can I just draw out of this? Because I don't want to deal with Flying Flip. I really don't want to deal with that promo Lele. That card is the epitome of... Just... I don't know. I, that promo Lele and Coco is, like, the most annoying combo on the game. It's literally the new standard Greninja. I don't want to deal with that crap. Alright. This sucks. He could have brought out Lele though and done 50 to me, but I guess he knows one retreat cost. Guzma. Okay. That works too. He might have another Guzma though. 
I might have a Guzma prize, and I might get it off the prizes. So we're gonna land crush him, knock him out, take our prize. Psychic, nice. Maybe we can Lily into an escape board if he tries to use me again. Never mind, he's bringing up a Simeon. Onyx might get KO'd here. I think it actually does. He's gonna have a cargo. He's played two acro bikes. And a Lily, we'll see if he's able to smooth over for it. He is, and that's gonna get him the knockout on my poor Onyx. Rip. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Onyx is so tanky. It lives it. I did not even think about that. Okay, well, there you go. We'll play another Onyx down. I think we'll attach to Lugia. We'll Lily. And I was hoping we'd maybe get a DC, but you know what? This works too. I actually do want to check my Goozies here. Um, we'll get Coco. Okay, we got two Guzmas in the deck. We do have all- we have three DC still, so that's good. We just to stall Malamar again, we can DC it out. Can this Wi-Fi symbol screw off, please? I think, honestly, we just keep- it doesn't matter what we assault them with, but... Just keep build- I think we build up Onyx. Onyx is pretty good here. We can retreat Lugia, it doesn't matter. So Land Crush, knock him out. We might not even get knocked out. I guess- I mean, I guess you can hit a Counter Energy and Rock Curl me. There's a Guzma, beautiful. I can target my cargo next turn, which I might actually do. Shut him down a little bit. Or if he benches that stupid card, promo Lele. There's a Shrine Eye, so Lele's gonna start ticking away. But whatever. Lele is gonna start ticking away, but it's fine. I think we're in a really good spot right now. Especially if we knock out my cargo here. It's probably gonna get a counter energy. There it is! Let's knock that stupid card out. Well, actually, he has to knock me out if we are going to knock that out. And he doesn't knock me out. That's really good. True energy. Okay. Yeah, just because I despise this thing, we're going to knock it out. I guess we can knock out Coco. No, we have to knock this out. This, this thing is going to get s s really... Annoying and ugly. Well, psychic recharge. I guess put the energy back on Lugia. And knock out this. Now I know we can stretch her back. Whatever. Oh, Giratina. Giratina's like pretty bad because it actually fuels magical swap. Looks like we can wrap this game up soon, hopefully. We just need two prizes. I think as long as we just build up a couple attackers, we're good. Assuming he tries to match, we'll swap them. Swing over. He's probably going to get a stretch review. No, he's already played one. And then another Coco. Alright, he takes out my Onyx, which removes a lot of damage off the board, which is, I think, the big thing to take away. But, still a lot of damage on the board for that Lele. Which is not cool. Drew a DCE. We'll do this. I think we just knock him out of Onyx. Don't really care. Opponent says well played. We'll say well played back. I don't think it matters. But it is what it is. So yeah, we'll retreat. Go into Onyx. Do I want a DC Lugia? How much damage is on board? 40... 80, 100, 140, 210, 280, two, uh, there's going to be 280 damage on board. Which is enough to actually take out both Lugia and Onyx, I think. Or both Malamars. I think I just hold the hand, just keep all the attackers in check. Just land crush him. We'll just keep, just keep everything. In case we need to like pop off next turn with a big attack with either Lugia or Malamar. I think we're good to win the game, though. Even if he magical swaps me, I think we'll be okay. Gladian. I think that wraps it up then. I think that wraps up the game. Yeah, that's game. Alright, well, we do win. We Thankfully, we don't have to deal with that Lele at all. It was a good call that I knocked it out. And Onyx is just going to come in and land crush him. Onyx is like the MVP in today's video. All of a sudden... 
Ooh, that ultra ball was nice to get double Giratina, but that is going to wrap up that game. No shot. No, we didn't get any Lugia GX action in. So I don't know what Lugia GX is doing. But I'll see you guys in a minute with another game. Alright, guys, let's go do another game with our deck. Onyx, Coco, put the team on their back. So Lugia has not been doing too much in this match. We'll see if it's able to pick up the pace here. And hopefully, he's able to do something. And it looks like we're up against. I honestly don't know. This could be Rodom, which. The amount of lightning types run into is kind of shocking if it is Rodon because it looks like Lugia, once again, won't be used. So maybe Lugia GX is just not going Alamar. So we'll start with Inkay, it's fine. We can escape board it. Hopefully we can draw an Ultra Ball or a Treasure here. That'd be great. Get Giratina in the discard pile. So I don't know, I guess this like this combo of like Lugia GX, Pelagic Blade, Giratina, maybe it's like better on paper. Because I don't know, like, Lugia GX has not been seeing much action in this game. Alright, we're up against a Zoark deck. Could be Zoark Gyarados, or it's... Uh, please don't be Zoark Control, I don't want to play against that. Okay, good, it's Zoark Decidueye. Okay, this is a bit easier, I think. I think Zoark Decidueye can be a bit easier to deal with, for sure. Let's see what we can draw... We're going to have to rely on Cynthia. So, pretty rubbish hand. Hopefully, this Cynthia picks it up a little bit. Alright. Got Coco. We got Lugia. Got you. Cash to Lugia. And we'll just pass. We'll try and do some Lost Purge or whatever. We can maybe just Lost Purge as Zoark. I don't hate that either, to be honest. That could be really useful. We're going to lose our NK, though, which sucks. Double Tails. No, just one hand, so... He's actually going to be Macargo. Okay, interesting. Well, we're definitely going to have to try and go for Onyx in this game, too. Onyx is going to be really good. And he had the DC in his hand. Awesome. Great. Awesome sauce. Yeah, I think we'll go for Onyx here. Try and get Onyx going in a couple turns. See if he's able to get Decidueye here. He's probably going to be able to find it, unfortunately. Decidueye might be a problem. It's going to let him one shot Lugia pretty easily, which is something worrying for sure. So we'll have to see. He's gonna have Macario for what's he gonna get? I mean he has infinite smooth overs. He's gonna be able to get whatever he needs. Not good. He got rid of a judge. Okay that S is fine. Judge could be a problem. And rare king Decidueye. Yay, we have to deal with Decidueye. He's probably gonna hit Lugia. This is really not good. We have to deal with Feather Arrow. Lugia's probably not going to survive the turn, and that's not good. That is really not good. We just need to find Onyx. We'll have to get Lele. Hopefully it's not prized. Or not. Let's see if it is. Um, treasure for Malamar. Could have got another NK. Whatever, don't think it matters. We'll get the we'll get the squids down. We might even we may be able to pull off a combo where we are able to pull off Pelagic Blade. I don't know. We did not hit a single energy off of that. <sighs> wow, no energy, bro. Are you kidding me? Hmm. That's a joke. I think I'm just going to retreat into Shining Lugia. That's really disappointing. It's really, really disappointing. We'll get rid of a Malamar and get NK. Ooh, we priced an NK. We'll just pass. We'll make him have to get a Pokemon and, enter, and a Feather Arrow to KO my Lugia, I guess. Wow, that really sucks. No energy is really annoying for sure. And I don't know if our hand will be good enough to be able to knock him out of Onyx, which is also a very big problem. So that really does suck. A lot. We got rid of a Pokemon, and it's a Zorua, so maybe there is some credit to doing Lost Purge here. Gets rid of his one, one of his only Zoarks in play.
see what we can do. He's gonna attach the Vulpix. Nine Tails is a bit easier to deal with, thanks to the Choice Band. I don't think we're able to like get enough damage on him to KO him though anytime soon. We'll bring out the Coco. What do we draw? Energy. We'll have to put the Onyx down so we can draw more cards. Like I don't want to do it. We kind of have to. Yeah, we didn't get anything good there to really pull off an Onyx. That's really unfortunate. And Cole just lost Purgeon. Get rid of one of his only Zoroks in play. This kind of has to be my go-to play right now. Not very good though, folks. We do have Onyx though, so the Onyx threat is there. Decidueye can one-shot it, but we're not able to build it up right now. We didn't really get anything good off that Lily anyways, so. This game ain't going to end very well. Hopefully just get rid of that Zoark though. Does something decent. He's not gonna be able to knock me out. We can we can actually knock him out with Plegic Blade here, which is really nice. So we'll go for that if he doesn't somehow KO Lugia. Hopefully Lugia survives the turn. Lugia, please survive the turn. You have one job to do. If you can survive the turn and he does like snowy wind, he might snowy wind me, maybe like hit a hit Malmar, hit NK. No, he's getting rare candy and choice band. Well, if he doesn't KO me this turn, we're definitely gonna be able. And it looks like he's committing to the Nine Tails, which is fine. We'll knock him out with Pelagic Blade. And if we can draw into a DC, you know, we can finish off Zoark maybe. So we can definitely try and take this game back a little bit. Assuming our top deck is good enough, that's literally all it comes down to. Smooth over. Double Feather Arrow is going to be a problem. I don't know what he's grabbing though. And just a snowy wind. Alright, so there is another huge issue with this, of course, is that we have a ton of damage on us. But he does have the double feather on me, so maybe there is something good. And we got a Guzma. Okay, so that is definitely a good sign. I think we'll hold the stretcher for next turn. And we'll Plegic Blade him for the knockout. And we'll see what our prizes are. We need to get like a DC or something to save us. Nice. So if he tries to knock me out with Zoar, it looks like he's going for it. So he'll double feather on me. Hmm. Mm, we played two DCs. No, he just has it, and that's probably what he's moved over for. Hmm. Maybe this is tricky. Because cause of the fact that he can double feather on me. I want to bring in Coco, but I'm not going to have another Fear Treater to work with. That is an issue. I guess we'll have to do, like, Lele for, um, Kane Liza then. If he knocks out Coco. We'll see. We'll see if he gets another Zoro Zoark down. He might not be able to. If he doesn't get another Zoro here, he might not have an attacker for next turn right away. Because we're going to knock him out Land Crush here. But he is going to come dangerously close to winning, so that's not good either. Especially with Malamar. If he knocks out my Coco... Yeah, this is pretty bad. We have to bring in Coco. We need the Malamar, obviously. If Coco can survive, we might be okay. And triple Decidueye. That will give him the game. That's stupid. It's really stupid. We're going to have to go Taint Liza here, unfortunately, to get the knockout. But it's fine. We tried. We're probably going to lose. He's probably going to be able to get triple Decidueye here. There's like no way he won't. Do we prize both Taint Liza's just by chance? We prize one of them, right? It doesn't matter. So we kind of lose this game. I don't really think we'll be able to pull this one through. He's going to be able to triple Feather on my Malamar next turn and win, unfortunately. We tried. Decidueye, though, is a pain in the side when it just spams Feather every turn. There's not much he can do. But you know what? We used some Lugia. This, you know, that's all I care about. Oh, wrong card. Yeah, we got to use some Lugia. Lugia tried. It did its job. But unfortunately, Lugia just couldn't beat Zoark. I think he just took too many prizes too early on. I think that was what kind of hurt us the most. Really is what hurt us the most. I don't know, who knows, maybe we do survive the turn, but even if we do, I don't think there's any way we're gonna be able to win, so it doesn't matter if we survive the turn or not. Guzma won't knock anything out. We got Taint Liza. I don't think it matters. I think we still lose, even if we like retreat. We could still game over. He probably has triple Decidueye. He just needs to get into the Ninetales. 
He's playing Enhanced Hammer's list. Well, that's gonna make this better. Maybe he doesn't have game then, because he Enhanced Hammer's me. So maybe the game isn't over? But he's gotta find another Ninetales here. Ooh, maybe he doesn't have to. Doesn't matter, though. We're, there's no way we can win next turn. Right? There's nothing on board that can deal with this Decidueye. There's no way I can, like, Coco Giratina either and, like, hit a 60 HP Pokemon. Because there's no way to stop Feather Arrow. And I can't do Tapu Cure. Even if I wanted to, like, heal my Malamar and buy time, it doesn't matter. Hopefully he just ends the turn. Just, just end the game, please. Just please end the game. Just get your rare candy Decidueye. And please end the game. So I can wrap this video up. Well, he's got three DCs. I don't know. I, he's probably going to be able to find it. Just, just end the game, please. Just, just end it. Just end it so we can move on. That's annoying. I want him to just end the game because there's no way we can win. It's going to scoop. Alright, well that'll wrap the ACP CGO video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, don't forget to subscribe to help me on the road to 4,000 subscribers. Unfortunately, we could not come out on top against Zork Decidueye Ninetales, a matchup that probably is... There's some advantages because we do have Onyx, and Lugia, Lugia is really good against Ninetales. Onyx is also good against Zork, so a matchup that could be favored. Unfortunately, we got... Decidueye and Decidueye is very annoying when you have low HP Pokemon in play. That's all I gotta say. So that wraps this PCO video. Again, guys, make sure to go over to Card Cavern TCG, pre-order those team up codes before Thursday comes, and also get those evolution packs. You, you need those Aptos. You need Jirachi. And uh, yeah, okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, we couldn't win. I hate losing. Yeah. See you guys later. Bye.